That's so what can you say about that? That's, that's, that's what you're on here today for. And the next speaker here today, lads, she's gone through the very same along with everybody here. But this woman is pushing and pushing as hard as she can for a law to broaden that's happening. So listen to her. Get behind this, her campaign and get behind all the campaigns that's here in South Africa because it has to change, has to come. Now, oh, I'd like to bring you on, Jackie Chief Collins. Take it anymore. 
And the only reason why I'm here is because I don't want to leave you heartbroken. But we're devastated. We're beyond heartbroken. Am I annoyed and angry with Nicole? Absolutely not. These vile, horrible, nasty excuse of human beings took my baby away and made her feel like she could, couldn't live another day. Ooh. Ooh. On January 2018, myself and my son came home. I collected my son from school and we came home and walked into the hall together. And as we walked in, there we found a stepladder and Nicole hanging from the banisters with my 14 year old child beside me. And I screamed, take her down, please take her down. And then I screamed, you know, get help. We took her down and I'm going to say I was so lucky, so lucky that Nicole didn't die that day, that we had two, two, uh, I'm going to say amazing days in intensive care just because I had the opportunity to tell her I loved her, to hold her, to rub her face and rub her hair, to kiss her goodbye. Nicole's organs start shutting down then and on the 20th of January she died. I was told by the guards that I gave a statement to the guards, also Nicole gave a statement to the guards when she was alive but she was, because she was over 18 at this stage, she was too afraid to make a statement because not only would these people attacking her, she would have been, she said, ma'am, I would have been a rat as well. And she was so afraid to rat on them. I know. So when, after Nicole died, the guards came back to me and said, even though I have all the evidence on the phone, I have all the, the proof of what they said. The guards said, it's not a criminal offence to annihilate. They didn't bully Nicole. Bullying sounds like a real childish playground word. They annihilated her, they tormented and tortured her. But it's not an offence. Anything they did, the guard said it wasn't an offence um, to say anything. I have a lot of views on Facebook. I could go on Facebook today and annihilate just I could rip you apart and there's not one thing you can do about it. And I couldn't believe it. So one day I went and I arranged a meeting in the doll. Um, and then I arranged another meeting and then I got another meeting and nobody was listening to me. I was like just this little mini smurf going in to face all the pe big people in suits and they weren't listening until I, I had a protest outside the doll. I had, I had a march through Dublin town and I had a meeting in the AV room in the doll which to my surprise a number of them um, TDs from all different parties they showed up. I couldn't believe it. And that's when things started to change. And they did listen and I, I, I was shocked that they actually took notice. Um, I've had loads more meetings in between them and I was led to Brendan Howland. Brendan Howland um, said that he will help me. I said that not only do I want um, a law brought in to criminalize and make these horrible five people be made accountable for, but I also need to name it after Nicole. I need to name it after Coco. And Brendan Ell agreed. They looked it up and said, yeah, there's no problem naming it after Coco. At the stage where it is, as you know, the government can be so slow doing things. I mean, they're more interested in plastic cups and save the dolphins and at this stage, we want to save her baby. It's too late. It's too late to bring my baby back. It's too late to bring Mia back and Kaylee back and Yasmin back and all those other beautiful babies gone. But it's not too late for everyone else in the future. At the moment, Coco's Law is at stage three. Now stage three is the longest stage. When it gets out after stage four, five and six, which will be passed in an hour, then there's um, seven, eight and nine, which will take no more than a day. So once I get out stage three, um, it, 
and, and then it goes to the Senate and then the what's his name? The president only has to sign it off then. Once it's out stage three, it will fly up and it will be it will be a criminal offence then for these horrible people to take care of yes. any more of their yeah. now or do when they go home and look up let's bring in Coco's law and share and follow and keep getting this spread around. My friend Jair has this live on Coco's page, live on let's bring Coco's law. Oh, and oh, 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 so I just want to say thank you and I just want to say that I'm so proud of everyone what they're doing and it's about time everyone starts to stand up and get together and we can only talk now for be the voice for our babies now and you know and, and don't worry you'll hear about when Coco's law comes I'll make sure <laughs>